Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me for our service of remembrance. Those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We listen together or sing our first hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever wilt be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Time and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above. Join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Pardon for sin and a peace that ends. reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts past and present have been given and taken away. We bring before God those things that sadden him. Let us confess to God the sins and shortcomings of the world, its pride, its selfishness, its greed, its evil divisions and hatreds. Let us confess our share in what is wrong and our failure to seek and establish that peace which God wills for his children. We say together, 
Merciful God, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbour as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We listen to our Gospel reading for today. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last, so the Father will give you whatever you ask in, in, in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. We join together to sing our second hymn of the morning. Eternal Father, strong to save. when we 
In Flanders fields the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Prayers for Remembrance Sunday. Let us pray for all who suffer because of conflict and ask that God may give us peace. For the service men and women who have died in the violence of war, each one remembered and known by God. Lord, hear us and give us your peace. For those who love them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss. Lord, hear us and give us your peace. For all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, remembering family, friends and all who pray for their safe return, Lord, hear us and give us your peace. For civilian women, children and men whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and the hatreds of humanity. Lord, hear us and give us your peace. For peacemakers and peacekeepers who seek to keep this world secure and free. Lord, hear us and give us your peace. For all who bear the burden and the privilege of leadership, political, military and religious, asking for gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace. Lord, hear us and give us your peace. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memories we cherish and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who would wish us harm. As we honour the past, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. Please join me in the words of the Lord's Prayer. As our Father taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We listen to or sing together our next hymn, Abide With Me. Tide, that 
The Legion of the Living salutes the Legion of the Dead. We will not break faith with you. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Uh -huh.
When you go home, tell them of us and say, For your tomorrow we gave our today. Our prayer of commemoration. Almighty and eternal God, from whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, either by death or life, hear our prayers and thanksgivings for all whom we remember this day, Fulfill in them the purpose of your love, and bring us all with them to your eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Act of Commitment Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and our fellow men and women, that we may help, encourage and comfort others and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. We say together, Lord God our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all humankind in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. to that which is good, render to no one evil for evil, support the weak, help the afflicted, love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in his presence as he goes with you always. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us always, now and forevermore.